This portion is brought to you by Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Para sa matibay, madaling gawin at pangmatagalan na bangka, dito tayo sa Bangkang Pinoy. Paano nga ba sinisimulan ang paggawa nito? Mula sa bangkang kahoy na karaniwang ginagamit ngayon ng mga manging isda, maaari na tayong makagawa ng mas matibay at pangmatagalan na mga bangka. For the construction of the boat, uh, provided we have already the mold, is yung waxing. And we make uh, four applications. So when you apply the wax, we buff it. Parang, parang nagpa-floor wax ka lang sa sahig. No? So yung nakikita niyo yung kintab. So after the fourth application of the wax, we proceed to the application of the gel coat. So the first thing what we did is uh, to get the container. So you get the container to mix this uh, uh, blue gel coat with the white gel coat. For the first application of uh, gel coat, you use the paintbrush. Para maabot natin yung mga sulok-sulok dun sa may sa boat. And the second application is we use, you use the roller na para mag-even out. Na mga paint brushes in the even. So that's why we use the roller to, to even out yung, yung application ng gel coat. Yung pag tuyo ng gel coat, is actually depending sa sa weather din. Kung medyo malamig, it would take some time bago siya matuyo. Pero kung mainit, uh, mabilis lang. Siguro mga give or take uh, 15 to 20 minutes, you can apply the second coating. And then after that, pag natuyo na yung second coating, you can now proceed with the layup. Sa paggawa ng bangkang Pinoy, very crucial ang mga unang hakbang because it serves as a protection from abrasions and chemical attacks. Kaya siguraduhin tama ang pagwax at pag-apply ng gel coat sa inyong mold.